It is 8.22 the morning news on Global Winnipeg. Thank you for giving us some of your Monday morning. Keith Brown is performing at the Winnipeg Fringe Festival. Joins us this morning. He's a magician. My hand is still there, so that's good. You didn't make that disappear. Not Thanks yet. for coming in this morning. Well, thank you so much for having me on the show. You are from London, Ontario. Yes, I am. And you've come. Why did you want to be in Winnipeg Fringe? Winnipeg is one of the biggest fringe festivals in, in Canada. And I asked a lot of French performers, and they told me they have a blast in Winnipeg, and this is my first fringe tour, and I knew I had to come here, so I did. Very good. You've been a magician for some time, though, and you've played, what, South America and through Europe as well. Yes, yes, I have. I've been doing magic for over 12 years consistently. I started when I was younger, but it's been 12 consecutive years. Very, very good. Now, you brought us a card trick. Before we get to that, your stage show. What, what happens on your stage show? What kind of things will we see? There's a lot of stuff. There's objects from uh, playing cards to sewing needles, thread, vinegar, uh, numbers, uh, Ziploc bags, gum, envelopes, cell phones. <laughs> there, there's a lot of everyday objects. And you know what? To me, it's just a labor of love. I, I just want to share with people. And I expect mystery, expect to have a good time. And nice. Yeah. Sounds like your parents had a pretty regular household and you just, you just started grabbing stuff and doing tricks with it when you were younger. Yes, there's a lot of times they asked me to clean my room and then you just hear card <laughs> shuffling 10 minutes later. Yeah. So. Look, I'm sure I made the, the dirt disappear, Mom. That's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, card trick. Keith, lay it on me. Yeah. What have you got for us? Well, let's try this out. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test your knowledge. Okay. okay. I have a quick question. Which playing card is this? That is the Nine of Hearts. High five. Okay. The reason I ask is some people, some people don't know, some people don't play cards, some okay, people yeah, call yeah. clubs like uh, Puppy Feet or, 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 or Clovers. Okay. Could you put one hand like this, and I want you to place your other hand like that for me, like please. That? Okay. Yeah, and I want you to sandwich that card, and I want you to keep it there, keep it away from me, keep that card safe, okay? That's perfect, that's perfect, okay. you're doing a great job. <laughs> so not only are we going to use the nine, we're also going to use this card, the Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs, okay. okay. And, uh, nine of Hearts. Yeah, Nine of Hearts, Ace of Clubs. Are okay. you guys ready for this? Give me up. Very nice. Thank you. What, what, what do I have here? I still Take a look. Show it to him. <laughs> I have the Ace of Clubs. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you very much. Nicely done. Do you guys, uh, do you want to do one more? Let's do one more. Right, yeah, let's do one more. Time. I'll show you, uh, we're going to try one with the four kings. Okay. Four kings. Here, let me just take these out real quick. There's two, three, and Four. four kings. And you can go ahead, take a look at them, make sure that... Uh, These are the four kings. Make sure that they are normal, that they're all, they're all there. And I'm going to take them from you. They all look good. Okay. And I'm actually going to place them inside my jacket pocket here, right okay. there. Fair. Looks good. Yep. Fair. Fair. Now check this out. I'm just going to spread these out so that you can see. Okay. Good. Watch close. All you have to do is give a little squeeze. Knuckles cracked and come on. The four kings. Yes. But I know what you're thinking. What's inside? What's in your pocket? The pocket. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, check this out. The rest of I have the absolutely cards. No idea how this all happened. Could it, the the art to magic and the performance aspect of it always fascinates me because you, uh, when you're devising, say, even a card trick like that, what kind of things go through your mind of how do I make this the best for people? Uh, there's a lot, actually. Yeah. There's, uh, there, there's the, the technique. There's whether or not it's entertaining. There's whether or not I think it's a good trick. Yeah. Um, and then there, there, there's all these other layers. Like, a lot of people just think it's sleight of hand, but that'd be saying, like, the hand is just your index finger. There's, there's the other fingers. There's the bones. There's the ligaments. There's all these other things. So yeah. there's... Uh, there's psychology that goes into it, and there, there's, there's creating specific moments in, in the story that you want to tell. And even if it's a card trick, if it, even if it's two things changing place, yeah. you have to make it as clear as possible in, in directing that. Um, well, that is very cool. I can't wait to see what you do with the vinegar during your show. Yes, it's uh, definitely something worth checking out. Keith, thank you very much. Uh, Keith is playing the... Uh, the, uh, pardon me, uh, the Son of Warehouse, pardon me, I'll get that out there, July 16th to 26th, seven shows in that time, tickets are $10 a piece, you can go to the website winnipegfringe.com, you can check out Keith's website at keithbrown.ca, and Twitter handle at Keith H. Brown. Yes, all one word, Beautiful. Keith with two H's. Two H's, uh, Fringe coming up from the 16th to the 27th, uh, Keith, fantastic, I want to show me some more as we uh, go to break.